guys. It's the awesome cast, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here again in Alpha Lab. And we're with the executive director, Jim Jen, today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Hey, I love hanging out here. Um, Alpha Lab is something that I've been paying attention for such a long time, like uh, since I was first made aware of it uh, when he sponsored like PodCamp Pittsburgh, like all those years ago. I remember On the, the south side. The Friday Night Icebreakers. The Friday Night Icebreakers. Yeah. And, and you had the cubicles that were like, like, like plywood and all that stuff. It was just, it was just a really cool space space and my first introduction to and got me into like just looking at oh, oh cool there's startups here you know and and which really led to this podcast to be quite honest so oh, that's great. um but as hey it's the awesome chat we're uh, at awesomecast.net check out everything subscribe to us on itunes stitcher speaker iHeartRadio, and the video versions on the facebook and youtube channels for awesome cast and uh and, and check us out check out the live show check out the patreon uh check us out if there's any companies you think we should be talking to in pittsburgh especially uh please hit us up on uh the social media at awesome cast and of course like i said on the facebook so tell me uh, first of all for the uninitiated not like me apparently the people that haven't listened to this podcast for a while um what is alpha lab so alpha lab is a software accelerator for startup companies it's now a question is what's an accelerator Mm -hmm. and accelerator i i I probably describe it in different ways sometimes i describe it as a 20-week boot camp for startups Uh, other times i might give the longer version say you know we we take all the different pieces and resources that a startup needs um funding office space mentorship uh, education community and we put them together in this kind of crazy mix uh, over this 20 week period that with the goal of helping them uh, learn quickly and move quickly to uh, increase the momentum for their companies. It's always been interesting, and of course, this is a concept that has split. And now there's also Alpha Lab Gear, right. uh, which is you know right downstairs, yeah. uh, and and that is more focused on the hardware side of things, right? right? So, um, so you guys, so basically, you know, we've we've talked to a few companies on here over the years, and of course, recently. And uh, I was always told what what uh, talk it's like just submit your idea, like even if you have a germ of an idea, put it in there. But it's it's different. People come in here at different levels. Can you tell us a little bit about like what people are kind of showing up with that make in right. the program. Yeah, so we, we still encourage people to apply, mm-hmm. uh, even if you think you're not ready. So that can be uh, an idea. And sometimes folks are applying with a product customers, maybe even revenue. So, so we do uh, have a range. I think what we also tell f- people is if If you're at a point where you are still in that iterative learning phase for what your product should be, getting your first set of customers, and even figuring out the process to acquire customers, that's a good fit for what we do. Because we're really creating an environment uh, for the companies to be able to learn and test quickly uh, learn from each other and where they're still open to changing you know how they look at their business mm-hmm. and, and, and oh go ahead yeah so uh, and from an application standpoint we encourage folks to apply uh, earlier rather than later because even if you don't get in the first time it, it helps us get to know a company and then we can also see the progress so sometimes many uh, very good companies have gotten in on the second try because we got to see the progress that they made over the you know six months between our application sites it also probably helps to see this isn't just the germ of an idea. They're actually executing on something, and this is becoming something that they're actually invested in, right? right? Yeah, and that's uh, the, the commitment level and passion of the founders is really important. You know, we're always, we always tell the founders, remember, you're the biggest investor in your company because you're choosing to spend your time on this. Right. And then the other thing is uh, – this almost sounds counterintuitive, but during the application process, we're looking for the companies that if we didn't take them, they would say, I'm still going to do this with mm-hmm. or without you. And in fact, those those are the companies that tend to do well because you can tell that and we know that, boy, they're not waiting for us to make a decision. I mean, they're, they're going at it and then it's up to us if we want to be part of that. You know, the goal is for the companies to get through and, and become have a big viable product. But I've also seen ones that maybe have just even taken the experience and kind of just use that for their next thing that they did, right? Right. And so I think that's an important part of it. So yes, we'd love for all the companies that come through Alpha Lab to all be huge hits, you know, uh, whether it's grow revenues, raise funding, get you know, get exits. But also 
the sheer statistics says that doesn't happen. And uh, startups are hard, man. Right, it, it, it's really hard. <laughs> and we we really try not to, sh you know, we don't sugarcoat things. You know, mm -hmm. they they know that uh, the the you know the, the percentage of the startups that even get the next level of funding or whether it's eventually raise a venture round, if that's their goal, mm -hmm. you know, that that's low. Uh, but I think what's important is we are trying to also have the companies move very fast and learn about their business uh, so that they can either iterate to the right business product or business model, or they learn there isn't a market. Mm -hmm. And then if we can get to that point faster off less money, then the, the entrepreneurs then are freed up to go tackle the next you know the next idea kind and of a fail forward exactly philosophy. and so i think this sort of is a fast failure yeah. is really something that it's important and also as we continue to grow the ecosystem here in pittsburgh and talk about you know uh what are things from silicon valley and other startup hubs that we want to emulate i do think the this culture of accepting the sort of moving quickly, taking chances, taking risks, and having things not work out, mm -hmm. you know, is, is really important. So, uh, sorry, I got on soapbox, but oh, that's, that's fine. That's no, this happened. is this is your yeah. platform to do that, actually. <laughs> so, um, I think it's really interesting. And again, like uh, things like Alpha Lab, seeing the companies come up and then realizing this community that is here it is one of those tent poles that we started this to, to kind of show that off a little bit, right? It's like, right. Hey, hey, Pittsburgh's a cool place to be for this kind of stuff too, technology, etc. Um, I was really impressed just talking with Francis squad that's in the yeah. cycle right now. Yes, they came from Portland. Exactly. Wow Everybody it seems like everybody else wants to go to San Francisco and right. they came here. Yeah, they, they came here they, uh, they They had heard about Alpha Lab. Uh, they also knew of Pittsburgh's reputation as a great sports town Which mm -hmm. is very important for, for their Oddly company. Not basketball that they started with though. <laughs> that, that's true. That's true But uh, I think fantasy sports. Uh, mm -hmm. I think a lot of folks. Uh, I know uh, I, I also really enjoy fantasy sports. Yes, we heard uh, you, you heard that okay, <laughs> and uh, and, and you know what was compelling about them was uh, we we as part of our process we have an interview round after you submit your online application and it's you know we we, we like it when the companies uh, are here in person because we get to uh, meet with them get to know them better but uh, we also give them the option to do a Google Hangout mm -hmm. uh, well uh, with Squad all three of them showed up like. Yeah, I mean, they all wow. three of them came here from Portland, and uh, you know, and that that was a sign of you know how badly they wanted it. Yeah, so that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, uh, from that, I mean, so. You know, you're getting people from all over. Uh, uh, you know, what do you think of that atmosphere here in Pittsburgh? Obviously, you guys are one of a few things going on. Even just you know, hell on this block, it seems. <laughs> yes, a lot of things in this building. So. In this building, there's at least yeah. four things I can think of in this building. Yeah. So. Well, I, I think what's going on in Pittsburgh is ex exciting. And while we are attracting uh, teams like Squad uh, from out of town, there's really a strong group of companies, uh, ideas. Ideas, founders uh, here in Pittsburgh. Uh, in in this most recent cohort, the one that's uh, presenting a demo day in a couple of weeks, uh, we had many very strong applications from out of town, mm -hmm. and we invited them in for the interviews. But when the dust settled and we were objectively ranking them, uh, the companies here in Pittsburgh, uh, you know outperformed and uh, so that's why we still have a majority of the companies in this cohort uh, from Pittsburgh Wow over the time obviously there's been some big companies that have come through here have done some pretty tremendous stuff um, what is kind of the weirdest thing that came in that you maybe didn't think w w was gonna work that really kind of flourished it's funny because uh, the way our process works, I think by the time I get through, we get through application cycle, I've gotten to know the company so well, so it's not and, and so, so therefore everything just feels natural, and then I have to take a okay. step back. But I think, you know, as I think back to some of the companies, uh, uh, company um, that, that came in as Insurance Zebra, and which mm -hmm. is now the Zebra, I think that company. Uh, you know, made tremendous progress and so, so that was one where uh, from start to finish I think they surprised us with just how quickly they moved and you know how much progress they made and how strong the uh, interest was from the investment community you know when they finished the program mm -hmm. um, I think another company that uh, that probably we don't 
talk about as much because, uh, but I think they were a little bit ahead of their time. Actually, now that I, that I think about it, is Megabits. So I don't know if you remember Megabits. Aren't they a video game company? Of well, some sort? their vision was basically Pokemon Go. Oh. Yeah, and so they started at Startup Weekend. Uh, their whole vision was a sort of. Uh, a mobile game, uh, augmented reality based off Pokemon, and uh, and so, so they really had a strong vision. That was, that was like then Pokemon somebody went Go. and did it with Pokemon. Yeah. And, <laughs> Which is that's something that happens. You right. get kind of truncated. Sometimes yeah. it's not the first one; it's the one that pulled right. it off at the right time, right? Yeah. So, um, but you've also had this, this tremendous successes from here. The the um, uh, the alumni here are like a who's who. No way comes to mind for this. I made a news uh, last demo demo day. I, I attended. It was right after they got like crazy funding uh, mm -hmm. to, to explode and they're everywhere and they're, they're the thing that right. I went to TGI Fridays and, and they're, they're texting me and I realize it's a link to no wait and I'm like ah I remember that guy <laughs> well what I love is is going somewhere and uh, I'll ask people if they they've heard of no wait yeah. and then you know I'll get a large number of hands and now I say did you know that's a Pittsburgh company and then a lot of people go I didn't know that I didn't know it was mm -hmm. a Pittsburgh company so so it shows that more people in some ways know them now as this incredible consumer app that helps you you get in line for a restaurant as mm -hmm. opposed to coming from the tech side of things. Yeah, and I think I, yeah, people kind of presume like, oh, this app is up and it's this popular, um, you know, it's the ways is from Israel, right. you know, uh, things like that. I was at a, I actually did a career panel a couple of years ago at at, at my um, uh, my child's school, and they wanted us to talk about careers, and I was on a panel, a uh, sort of business related panel, and I. I kind of talked about Alpha Lab and mentioned No Weight, and the person sitting next to me who owned a restaurant said, "Oh, we use No Weight," and then we we turned the next ten minutes of the discussion into a No Weight commercial. So <laughs> that's great. And of course, uh, it, it, they say it's been cool to see this grow, and you guys, you know, moving up here to East Liberty uh, from the South Side to the, the I don't know quadrupling and then some your space between the two the two branches. Now, um, I, I I love attending Demo Day. Uh, you guys, mm. it, it, I, I sadly have not been to like a concert at Stage AE. But I've been to Demo Day, and uh, it was it was so amazing because I, I, when I first attended, um, I had just finished watching the first season of Silicon Valley, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this does feel like that a little bit, you know? Right. It, it, like it, it, it's like really cool because it's it's that kind of shiny startup vibe that we always mm -hmm. see in the news and on CNET and whatever, right. and it's completely happening right here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, no, uh, it's it's kind of. Crazy to think about uh, when we first started, the very first uh, demo day was held at the Alpha Lab spaces on the south side. Mm -hmm. We had maybe 80 to 100 people come and uh, and you know, so it's been it's been fun to, to see it grow and, and the interest in it. Uh, I think you know, with regard to Silicon Valley, I actually haven't seen that show. I have to oh. admit, I, I I've started. Well, I, I watched the first ten minutes of I think of season one episodes. I'm going to start trying to watch it. Uh, probably be too painful because mm -hmm. uh, it, I, I've heard that it's 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 a good parody of, mm -hmm. of of what's happening. And so I think what's interesting there is we want to. Again, we want to emulate a lot of the good things happening and to learn from what's happening in other startup hubs, but we also want to be true to who we are here in Pittsburgh and to create a startup culture that uh, is focused on, uh, you know, that, that's obviously focused on growing companies, but also at the same time think about growing the community and you know, not having some of the things in our culture, the startup culture here that you hear about uh, as the negatives um, in, in other areas, which so so I think so it's tricky because uh, I think I first cringed when you said, oh, kind of reminds me of Silicon Valley because uh, uh, again, <laughs> and I, don't, a, I don't mean it as a no, slight. I there's, love a, it. <laughs> there's a lot of good things. There's a lot of great things. I, I spent almost 20 years there, so mm -hmm. I and I, I don't regret a minute of it, uh, mm -hmm. but I also you know, want to be careful that as, as we're growing the community here, that we're also thoughtful to learning about some of the, the challenges that they've had uh, mm -hmm. uh, in, in Silicon Valley, where I think, you know, and yeah, definitely seen that, like, like they, you know, obviously, you know, a space like that has been, had a lot of growth issues because of all that stuff happening mm -hmm. there. What we're seeing, you know, in the news and the uh, kind of disparity uh, of, of the pipelines there, and and it's interesting because it, it feels like that is kind of growing into the neighborhoods here in a different way. Mm -hmm. So, 
Yeah, and, and that's definitely something you know we're very mindful of and always thinking about how do we continue to build and promote the startup community, but kind of doing it in the context of the overall community. And mm -hmm. I think also the uh, the, the mayor's office uh, in, in the city has, has done a great job of also making that a high priority item mm -hmm. uh, around the agenda with thinking about a uh, you know, sort of inclusive innovation economy. Right, right. And just kind of including this, just kind of bringing that all together and forward thoughtfully instead of letting the this community kind of build on itself, right? right. <laughs> and, and maybe go a little crazy. Right. So yeah, that's awesome. So uh, again, tell everybody where can they uh, find more information, anything coming up uh, that they can check out? Yeah, lots of things coming up. Uh, our application cycle is currently open. Mm -hmm. So uh, our next cohort will start in January. How often does the cycle run? Uh, twice a year. Okay. So so our next cohort starts in January, probably be January till the end of May mm -hmm. and with a demo day uh, probably in the late April, early May timeframe. Uh, and then also our demo day is coming up uh, October 26th at New Haslett Theater. Nice. So uh, I, th I think if you go to our social media accounts, you can, uh, we still have, I know that tickets are running low. Uh, it, it's free tickets, but you know, uh, it is. You can uh, only we, pack so many people in there. Right. And we do expect it to, to fill up. And that so. is just Alpha Lab. It's not the joint thing that you guys right. do. Right. Uh, because Alpha Lab Gear runs uh, one cohort a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, because with hardware, physical products company uh, need a little bit more time to develop some of the technologies and the prototypes. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so this one is, is just the current Alpha Lab cohort. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Go check it out if you're in the Pittsburgh area. And just look, look at that alumni page. Because I, I think, like the no wait situation, I think you'll be very surprised to see, especially if you follow tech news, um, some very familiar names pop up in there, right? Yeah. So, and it's a really cool space. Open coffee, keep an eye from something I always try to go to yeah. just to see what's going on and uh, see, see who's building stuff. I just love to see the energy around a lot of these guys up here. So, thank you so much for joining me. Um, you have a Twitter or anything? Oh, yeah, Twitter. <laughs> People uh, want to ask you questions yeah, directly? Yeah, Twitter at Jim C. Jen. So, J I M C J E N. There you go. So thank you so much. Go check it out. Check out this awesome space and check out our interviews with other. Just look for Alpha Lab uh, in the search over at awesomecast.net. You'll see a lot of people, including the guys from No Wait. The, the, the main guy in No Wait was in our basement back in yeah. the day. Like my basement. Come on. And now he's worth who knows what. Uh, so thank you so much to my awesome guest, even our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.